the first point we want to jump into is picking your niche this is super important because TikTok rewards users who stick within a niche. If you're consistently posting about, say, your restaurant or your photography business, then they really reward you because they know that when your audience sees your popular video, they're gonna come to your page and get more content just like that. So we don't wanna be too versatile. We wanna be versatile within our niche, whether it's photography tips, as well as photography recommendations when it comes to cameras and stuff like that, for example. So try to capitalize on things around your brand that make sense toward you so that we could actually drive new clientele from your TikTok to your website or to your Instagram depending on where you sell your services or products. So my company, Social Savvy, a digital marketing agency, we've expanded into product photography as a large portion of our services. So for the sake of this video, our objective here is to score more product photography clients. Okay, now that we're sticking within our niche and staying within the photography for you, it could be anything else, so definitely apply it to yourself. But what we're going to do is find some video inspiration. So when going on TikTok, we find users who are using similar hashtags to what we would be using, so definitely apply it to your niche. In my case, it would be photography tips or photography or product photography. So we would look up hashtags just like that, then find users who are getting a ton of views and a ton of likes based on their videos. So we would try to mimic their style of videos. And the key thing to know is to not necessarily copy exactly what they're doing, because we don't want to copy anyone's content, but definitely take inspiration and see the formula that they're using. And try that with your own brand. So something to understand is how surprised you would be on what actually goes viral. So like we were talking about in earlier episodes, with the candle scenario, there are portions of TikTok that are literally called candle talk or photography talk. And these are sub niches within the app that have a ton of users that are engaging within that niche, liking those videos. Like we talked about in episode two, the For You page will continuously show videos that are based around that niche. 